Hi everyone. I really hope I'm not in here while this is playing. I'm uncomfortable. Um, but, yep, finished the big project. It was fun. I, I mean, everybody knows, like we've talked about it in class several times, but, um, yeah, I wrote about the big political, emotional influences that I don't know, change the way composers wrote music and how we listen to music and just all the big changes that happen in society, I guess, in the 20th century. So it was a pretty pretty broad topic. There's a lot of a lot of reading involved, which was fun. I like reading, I guess. But towards the end I was just like, "Let me finish this, please." Anyways. <laughs> um it uh, it was fun to do because it was something I'm interested in and it's kind of helped me like think about what I'm going to do in the future I guess because I've always wanted to be a teacher but now I've been considering like maybe like music history being a professor or <clears throat> teaching music theory or something I don't know I don't know but yeah I guess what I'm going to do in this video is kind of let you guys hear some of the stuff that I worked with because I guess it'll help you understand a little bit more of why I was interested in it. So, yeah, we'll do that. The first big piece of music I wrote about is called The Rite of Spring. It's my personal favorite and um, it was written in 19... Like 10, 11, around there. Whoops. Um, and I guess I like it so much because it's really hard to understand. It doesn't make very much sense when you listen to it, and people didn't like it very much. Uh, the, the first performance of it actually caused a riot, so yes. <laughs> As you can hear, it's just very chaotic. Um, kind of shows a lot about what was going on in Russian society at that point. Um, they were going through a lot of like political upheaval and just a whole lot of, like, I guess, artistic struggle. Russia was trying to make a name for itself, like in the arts, and Stravinsky really tried to portray like Russian glory through his music. And it was, it sounds way ahead of its time. It sounds like it could be in a movie, like, came out yesterday, instead of a piece of music that was written more than 100 years ago. So I like it. Another cool piece of music that I used, um, it's called Einstein on the Beach. It's a, well, it's technically an opera, I guess, but it kind of changed that whole genre. Um, it's four and a half hours long. Yep, um, but it was written uh, to kind of play off of like Einstein's theory of relativity. It, the music kind of breaks down your perception of time, speeds everything up, feels like it's only like an hour long instead of the four hours, 30 minutes that it actually is. Um, it's completely different than what you just heard, so. This is part of Einstein on the beach.
These are two vastly different influential works from the 20th century that I was able to work with, and there's, there's dozens more that I listened to to prepare for this project, but these are two of the more polarizing, I guess, of the works that I looked at, so decided to share those with you guys. Hope you enjoyed them. Um, I don't know, music is such a big, such a big topic, it's a big world, and it's a lot of fun to work with.